Tesla YouTube. Today we are here with a Samsung that kind of hangs to the Samsung logo. When you turn it on, nothing happens. It just hangs there. And uh, the guy that it uh, that is from, this phone, uh, he tried to install Android 7. And he had Android 6 on this phone. Somebody installed Android 6 for him on the phone. But in fact, he don't know nothing about... Uh, you know these phones in fact installing roms and he just had android 6 and he downloaded uh, android 7 cm 14.1 he put it on the sd card and he went into the recovery he could do that so he he just went and tried to update and then he said it hung to it was installing and then it installed for about 60 percent and then the android was just turning and turning and turning and turning and nothing was kind of happening so um he turned it off and then you know he turned it on again and nothing was happening he tried to go into recovery again and 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 try to see if it was possible to uh to in cyanogen mod you can restore to original back you know there's a function in there and he did that, but it was not working. So he brought the phone to me, he said, but can you fix the phone? So I asked him, I said, what was the phone on? He said, Android 601. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get Android 601. And uh, I make sure that the battery have some life. Now it's pretty simple. Get your micro SD card, pop it into some card reader, copy the CM13 to it, and then pop the card back into the phone and let's start from there okay welcome back so we're gonna turn it on again volume bottom up power etc should bring us to the recovery mode okay though so um what we're gonna do now I'm going to hit apply update SD card one. I just inserted the card here and uh, I want to upgrade it to CM13. So there we go. We're going to upgrade it to Android 6. After we just pulled out the cable and the battery in the middle of the installation. And I might want to give it some power as well to let it charge. I'm not sure if it's also charging if you put it in. But it should at least a little. And we're installing CM13 Android 6 at this point on the Samsung S2. There's also an Android 7, but that is for another video. We're going to let the guys work a little bit more on it. Although it's kind of reasonable already Wi-Fi is working, sound working. And uh, so you can in fact already use it. But I think Android 6 runs really nice on this, uh, on this, on this baby. It's a very nice phone. It's a Samsung S2. It has 8 megapixels. You see that? Some other phones could only dream of that when this phone came out. But unfortunately, this phone is going up to Android 4.2.1, I think, max. So, cha, yeah, that is kind of sad because uh, a device like this could still be up and running. Although, not with all the crap we installed, of course. <laughs> Gosh, have some common sense, man. I mean, like operating systems these days are needing so much power because the thing has to run all the all the crapware, you know, that they install. I mean, like I see so many apps installed on my iPhone, for instance, that I'm not using at all. I don't even know why they are there, you know. I think people should be able to choose whatever they want and it should not be forced to them and you know push through the to to the throats of the of the users that's not okay it's really not okay but it's happening all the time and that is kind of sad <clears throat> and the people just don't know they just you know 
they just do their little thing they just don't know and to me i don't care you know what you guys how you guys want to treat your customers i mean like they are your customers you're making money with them not me so you must know how to treat them if you want to create updates or or phones with a lot of crapware inside just because you're proud that you have your own little app silly man a phone should have minimal apps and whatever the people want they should go look for and if they don't know about that their friends should tell them about oh do you know you can also get this you know bring the bring the fun back in the usage of, of phones and co communication uh, of people so this might take a little before it's gonna boot so when it's there i'm gonna get back to you there you are phone is uh, booted up it's preparing phone surface there you go beautiful android 601 these are all bedtime stories eh? but then again fantastic phone i love this phone very much i think the samsung s2 is one of the most prestigious phones that was created out there way back i got the samsung s1 from my provider was my first samsung i sold it the same day because i was scared to use it it was too thin it would fall out of my hand 100 percent i would lose it traded it to a very nice laptop that lived for many years with me and not so long ago it kind of it died well not really died it has a crack on the motherboard i think it got too much kicks from me when it was not listening no not true it just you know i used to run a uh, mac on the thing it was a hacking tosh and you know um these machines get kind of warm as well eh? so there we are united states next searching for wi-fi networks there you go we have wi-fi i don't want to skip anyway next oh back what does it say do you want to use cellular data during setup Tja, why not it's saying labara good improve cyanogen mode of course next next start Madame and Monsieur, Sionadio uh, Mod 13. There you go. It's just like Android 7. So, no big deal. Nice. It works. The phone is back and up. And are we still rooted? What do you think for yourself? Let's take a look. We go to developers' options. Let's see where that is um about the phone here you can see it gti 9100 601 and let me give some thumbs up to to clyde clyde at cyanogen what i salute for you my friend fantastic job uh, this is a very nice ROM, peeps. Uh, if you still have the Samsung S2, get rooted, uh, install Clockwork Mod uh, for KitKat that supports KitKat, and then just just upgrade to CM13 Android 6, and you will have a fantastic phone. Yes, we are still rooted, of course we are. That's what we were looking. Uh, I would go to the build number, and the build number one two three four five six seven eight. Da, 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 da. So we enable the developers options let's take a look um, here you can see root access disabled so what must you do you must enable it of course apps only okay root access is now enabled you see that also we're gonna enable the advanced reboot so we can at all time when we need to go and install android 7 simply you know hit the reboot button and go straight to the recovery i say uh 
mission successful i want to thank you for watching i hope this video was kind of kind of funny cool if you did uh, like it of course leave it a like subscribe to my channel and love to see you in the next one again bye